going on guys back with another video this is going to be in the KJ Works gas blowback the uh, model 617 is an MEU 1911 single stack this is how it's going to come all the goodies I'm sure you all know what it is um, the orange tip is painted on with this one and it does not have a threaded barrel um, <clears throat> for those of you that like threaded barrels um, this one's got the uh, CO2 magazine uh, this one's pretty cool. I've had this for a couple of years. Um, actually, no, I think it was a little over a year. So, uh, I mean, it's performed pretty good. You know, it's uh, with either the uh, the CO2 mag or the uh, the propane mag. They both work pretty good. It's got decent power. Um, maybe not as gas efficient as most people would like. <clears throat> and you see the uh, and the grip handle there. It's got a uh, little cutout, two notches on the side to fit the uh, <clears throat> to fit the CO2 mag. The uh, the propane mag does not have that. It's just flat. Um, it's an exact knockoff of the Tokyo Marui, which is pretty cool. Um, you can use Tokyo Marui mags in this one, but you can't. It's not vice versa. The uh, the Tokyo Marui mags um, they're a little thinner for some reason. The KJs are a teeniest bit too thick to fit inside the uh, Tokyo Marui single stack, so. And even though this is a single stack uh, in thickness, uh, it does double stack the magazines. Um, uh, it does double stack the BBs, which is pretty cool. Um, now this one it comes with a uh, <clears throat> three-dot sight, combat sights, um, so that it's easy to uh, e easy to acquire the target. Uh, it's a Novak style rare; it's not adjustable, but uh, both of the sights are removable, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, it's got the forward uh, as well as rear slide serrations. It's got a rail system, but as you can see, this is not um, a Picatinny rail. I believe it's a little, a little bit smaller. It's narrower, narrower in width. Can't speak today. Um, this line right here, I measured it, and I was gonna, I might cut this with a Dremel or something like that, just to be able to uh, for versatility to mount other stuff. But it should be out to there so just keep that in mind that's the uh it's one of the only negative drawbacks that i found of this pistol everything else it's cool it's got the skeletonized hammer uh, the you know double-sided safeties and they're uh they're extended so, you know and you can use uh, propane as well as co2 it's got the lanyard loop on it and the pistol is full metal so uh i mean it's pretty cool um and it's got the uh, Kind of a semi-rubberized grip too, kind of like the Tanyo Koba, Tanyo Koba knockoff, and these are wraparounds. You remove these four bolts, and it's all one piece. Uh, and this grip does hold on the uh, the detent pin for the safety and the slide stop. So just remember that. But it is captured. When you take that out, these detent pins are all captured in this metal piece, this tube here. <clears throat> so you can see the red nozzle in there. Those will be upgraded for the CO2. And it is a straight barrel, unlike the uh, the high caps. So overall, it's a pretty sweet pistol. I like it. Um, it's never really given me any problems. Um, so I mean, I gotta say it's pretty it's pretty well worth the money um, if you're looking for a, especially a single stack MEU. And like I said, this one does hold. Uh, I think it holds up to. I think it's like 20, at least 25 or something like that. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool pistol. You know, obviously the uh, skeletonized uh, trigger too as well. But, uh, yeah, and uh, just to show into some upgrades, let's break it down here real quick. Now I sanded down the rails a little bit just to try to get them as smooth as possible and even. On the spring guide, I just try to drill it in a little bit, just the teeniest bit, just to try and save weight, as well as crowning it right there with the drum. Uh, same thing with the plug. Crown it here at the end, as well as drilling down into it. You can't really see that very well here. Uh, I apologize for the lighting, plus drilling it out here. But the one down the center saved the most weight. Um, just on a recoil. Um, basically, to the slide. 
just try to uh, sand down the inner uh, inner lugs in there. Again, try to make it as smooth and effortless as possible for this thing to operate. And you can replace this screw back here. This is a steel screw that holds the blowback housing on there. You can replace that with a titanium one if you want. Um, I found uh, that if you go to uh, A Main Hobbies, it's an RC website. They they do have it. I believe it's an M. What is it? An M2? I believe it's an M2 uh, metric screw. So you can save even more weight there too. So uh, just all the you know, all, all little things to try and uh, <clears throat> try and save gas efficiency, especially when you're using it out in a game. You know what I mean? You want to try to get as many rounds per mag as possible. So uh, <clears throat> that pretty much sums it up. If you guys have any questions, you know, just leave comments, send me a send me an IM message, whatever they call it, and ask away. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like it. If you guys want to see any other videos, I might. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a so either getting the KJ uh, six inch accelerator and see what I can do with that because I do like the KJ pistols um, or just buying a high cap of Wii and just customizing the hell out of it but uh, you know also thinking about buying uh, testing out the uh, PX4 Wii um, and as well as uh, <clears throat> as well as the was the XD I wish uh, I wish KJ man I wish they would make more pistols because they seem like a way more copy uh exact copy of the tokyo marui but uh either way uh, let me know what you guys think talk to you later